Well, it's official. On Tuesday, Iowa voters turned out in record numbers. KCCI senior reporter Todd Megal has those historic numbers for us. He's live in the newsroom tonight. Todd. Steve and Stacey, 1,300,000 Iowans voted yesterday, and rural voters helped Kim Reynolds win her first election for governor. Even if we aren't happy with tonight's results, the fight, conti the fight continues. Many Iowa voters went to bed last night thinking Democrat Fred Hubble had won the race for governor. He did not. You're one of those rock star volunteers I'm talking about. Republican incumbent Kim Reynolds won a narrow victory, 50% to 47%. Fred Hubble struggled to make that first case to say that things were so wrong that we needed to replace the incumbent. And he also struggled to be able to say, and I'm the person to fix it. Drake University political science professor Dennis Goldfer says Iowa didn't see a blue wave, but more of a blue garden hose. Still, we did break a record, a midterm record 1,300,000 people voted. That compares to 1,581,000 votes in the 2016 presidential election and 1,142,000 votes in the 2014 midterm. And here is a look at the Secretary of State county by county map breaking down the numbers. Hubble won big in the urban counties, including Des Moines, Ames, and Iowa City, shown in blue. Reynolds clearly won the rural vote, shown in red. Now the question is... Will she play to the 50% of the electorate that voted for her, the way President Trump has played simply to his base? Or will she attempt to play to all of Iowa and reach out to those who didn't vote her? Well, in her victory speech last night, Governor Reynolds did make a point to say that she will work with all Iowans, no matter how they voted yesterday. Stacey? Todd, thank you. Now, it wasn't just the race for governor. Republicans also maintained control of both chambers at the State House. Shana Humphreys breaks down the numbers for us. Shana. Well, the Republicans gained some seats in the Iowa Senate, while the Democrats had gains in the House. Here's a look at those numbers. During the next State House session, Democrats will hold 46 seats in the House. Republicans will have 54. Two of the seats the Democrats picked up were in Polk County. Democrat Kristen Sunday unseated incumbent Republican Peter County, and in Ankeny, Democrat Heather Matson won in House District 38, unseating Republican incumbent Kevin Kester. On the other hand, in the Iowa Senate, the Republicans expanded their majority. The new balance of power there is 32 Republicans to 18 Democrats. Steve? Thank you, Shannon. You will also see a lot more women at the Iowa State House for the upcoming legislative session. A record number of women were elected yesterday to the House and the Senate. KCCI chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor is live at the Capitol building tonight with more on this. Well, Steve, women captured an additional 10 seats here. So 45 women will now be in the state legislature. Women are uniquely prepared for this because we, um, you know, we have to find compromise all the time. I made a collage of all my pictures from the campaign trail. And Claire Selsey, one of Iowa's newest state senators, is sending out a thank you to her supporters today. The mother of four says it's time to put politics aside and the divisiveness and look for common ground to reach across the aisle. Treating each person the way you want to be treated it sounds kind of corny, but I think that's where I'm going to begin. A lot of the people we saw running and winning were promoting, you know, consensus building and civility and really listening to the voters and what and what they wanted. The nonpartisan group 5050 in 2020 has been working to get women elected and has now reached three of its goals. One woman governor, two women in the U.S. House, one woman in the U.S. Senate. We're excited and we think that Iowa can be the state that other states across the nation look to with an example of how to elect more women in office. And for the first time, Iowa elected not one but two women to Congress. Cindy Axney and Abby Finkenauer will replace David Young and Rod Blum. Stephen Stacy, 